do a conversion using the gorman holbert conversion method. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is take and make sure you change your image's image mode to lab color. Okay, so we got that. We got to change it to lab color. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come into the channels palette and you're going to drop out the color channels of A and B, so you're going to turn off the eyeballs. All right, so now you just have the lightness channel turned on, um, and you'll notice the image is already kind of in a black and white look. The next thing you want to do is go back up to image mode and change the image to grayscale. And yes, discard color information. So from here, you are going to select the highlights in the um, grayscale channel. So what you're going to do is you're going to hover over it with your mouse, and you're going to hold down Command. It could be Control on the PC keyboard. Okay. And as it show you, it should show you a little hand with a square around the hand. So try. Uh, try the Windows button. There you go. And you're going to click on the channel, and it's going to do a selection. So you now see the little selection, ants marching. So what we need to now do is inverse the selection, so we select the shadows. So you're going to go to Select, Inverse, and it's going to select the shadows for us. So now we need to convert it from grayscale to RGB color mode. So we're going to come to image, mode, RGB. And you'll notice all three color channels come back, OK? You should see those over there. So now we need to go to the layers palette. So we're going to click on the layers palette, which is right next to the channels palette. There you go. And we are going to choose a solid color adjustment layer. So we're going to come down to the bottom and choose the adjustment layer palette and choose solid color. It's all the way up at the top. Yeah, undo for a second. All right, so the next one over, that guy. Yep. So choose solid color and a color picker is going to come up. So what we want to do is we want to choose a gray somewhere between black and white. We don't necessarily want to choose a color for this because we want to keep the image in black and white. So slide the circle all the way over to the right, excuse me, left hand side, and then you're going to slide it up and down to get an overlay look on the image. Um, and this is going to determine like how dark and contrasty your image is. So pick something in the middle if you're not sure where to start, um, and you're going to hit OK. That should be fine. Try, just try it for now and see what it looks like. OK, so we hit OK, and then once we have that solid color layer chosen, we're going to change the blending mode on that particular color layer to multiply. Nope, up above. Down, there you go, down. That, click that. Multiply. And there we have our black and white image. All right, now if you're unhappy with how the black and white image looks at this point, um, one, you can redo the process and adjust that solid color adjustment layer. You can also adjust the opacity on the solid color adjustment layer. So notice it's lightening my image as, as I take it off. So if you want it lighter, you can bring the opacity down on the image layer right there. Or you can also add a curve to this to create more or less contrast based on your own personal preferences there. You don't want to choose a curve adjustment. You want to make sure you're choosing a curve adjustment layer down at the bottom of the layers palette, that same place we got the solid color. So go in there and choose curves, and that should allow you f for you to do a curve, and that's not going to affect the image in any way.